This is how I turned my skin from looking like this to like this. I never realized that there was even a correlation between your gut and your skin. I'm someone who struggled with digestion and gut health pretty much my whole life. Ever since I was a kid, I would be like in a little ball in the fetal position, stomach really hurting after eating or at the end of the day. And I just thought it was normal. I first heard a dermatologist skin expert, I can't remember who it was, explain that there's a correlation between gut health and skincare. That's when the alarm bell started ringing in my head and said, maybe there is something here. Disclaimer, before we get into the details, I am not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not even an esthetician. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just the research I have done. This is my journey. This is what had worked for me. But of course, like even with skincare, makeup, everything, what works for me may not work for you. And always consult a doctor, whatever practitioner you would like for making any of these decisions. It's just me sharing my experience and hopes that it could hopefully help you or maybe start your journey or maybe just start your research like where to start looking. The skin is the biggest organ in the body. When there are things like breakouts like happening on your skin, at times that can mean that maybe there is something going on internally that is now showing up externally. External world is a reflection of what's happening in your internal world. So along with me going into like the fetal position and a ball and really having a hard time with digestion. It was also, I would experience a lot of bloating after eating, even just like not around my period. Journey kind of started with me clearing my skin almost like as a secondary bonus, but really I was just in so much gut pain that I just figured something had to change. This isn't normal. And I had this really bad acne. I was during a very stressful time in my life. I had started a new job and I was, really working a lot. I was basically doing two positions at once. Stress can cause a lot of things. It could cause bloating. And then it also could be one of the contributing factors to the imbalance of the good bacteria and the bad bacteria in your gut. And stress really helps basically oversimplifying all of this, by the way, stress helps the bad bacteria to flourish, thus causing more inflammation in the gut. And then since your gut is kind of really connected to your skin, it is also just gonna cause that inflammation in your skin. Stress also increases the level of cortisol in your body. And when you have increased levels of cortisol, that can cause more sebum production, AKA oilier skin, which could also lead to breakouts and also increased inflammation as a result. Really wanted to start incorporating not only just like a daily multivitamin, but also just supplements for probiotics, prebiotics, that would help rebalance those bacteria in the gut, the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. Probiotics can help replenish the good bacteria in the body, boost your immunity, support digestion, manage stomach discomfort, which was really what I was looking for. Manage bloating, also what I was looking for. Those were two of my biggest issues. Again, I just wanted to relieve the pain. This time, since I was so stressed and my gut was out of whack, I think it was almost like a repeating cycle. The more stressed I got, the more imbalance my gut got, which caused more pain, which again, all this inflammation and everything internally caused more acne. A ritual essential for women, multivitamin. And this is just so I can get all my vitamins and nutrients, it's like almost gone but I've really been enjoying these and I really just wanna help balance like my whole body. What I'm really excited about is the probiotics. I did some research into it and these look like the best ones on the market and these have helped me tremendously. And this is the line by My Girl Wellness. If you haven't seen the testimonials, that's what really got me on Instagram, just the bloating. I was literally like, it was I almost like I was looking myself in the mirror, like I would get so bloated and I still do. It's a lot more controlled now and I haven't had an episode of curling in a ball in being in the fetal position for a while now, so that is a win. One I start with, which I take, I take pretty much all of them daily in the morning is gut goals. And this is helps to boost your immune system, boost good bacteria in the belly and help maintain digested health and just to help you digest better. Eat your heart out, which is so great. You basically take one of these before eating, digestive enzyme to help speed the breakdown of food, decrease bloating and maximize nutrient absorption. This has helped me so much. Like even more than this, this helps with bloating so much. Like it has decreased it. You eat this before your two largest meals and I really see a difference. Go girl and it helps you, it helps you go. 
and I take that before every night and it just makes you go more consistently and daily. I kid you not, I was not going every day. I go every day now. So I highly recommend those as well, which also helps because if you are harboring on to that and not clearing out and detoxing, you're gonna hold all of that in your body and this hold all those toxins. And then again, shows up on your face as acne. What I thought was really interesting that they kind of called out, which I didn't know, and again, do your own research. Most probiotics, prebiotics, good bacteria, basically in a lot of other supplements, it dies off before you can even digest it or it reaches your system. These, they have like three strains of those different good bacteria. That way it is more likely that they are still alive, absorb into your system, reach your gut, and help really balance you out. I started getting these probably two years ago. That's when I started taking prebiotics and probiotics very regularly. Yeah, 2021. So it has been at least two years. I definitely last year got a little bit more regular in my regimen. It has changed the game for me. I really started noticing a difference over time with these helping to clear my skin. And then also I was taking, this is not this specifically, I used to use the goalie gummies, but I was trying these out. And these are apple cider vinegar gummies. I don't take the apple cider vinegar gummies. I take the apple cider vinegar, like shots of apple cider vinegar. I can't remember the brand I do, but it tastes actually really good. Good. Apple cider vinegar really helps digestion. Besides that, what really helped me was cleaning up my diet. I haven't taken out things like sugar, eggs, dairy, but also I don't eat, tend to eat a lot of dairy anyway because the girl's slightly lactose, so I kind of don't touch it. It's not completely out of my diet. Like I'll still eat a pizza. I do try to eat more plant-based when I can. I cook for me, my fiance, I'll do some meatless Mondays and just really amp up the veggie. Really paying attention to what I was consuming, like processed foods. So even when I'm in the grocery store, I have started reading labels and that's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed about my habits and anything I can't pronounce I pretty much for the most part I'm not perfect at this at all but you can even just make these little tweaks and little choices that I did notice that I started feeling better and besides whole foods I really started looking into things in my diet that would help with anti-inflammatory and help with the gut some great anti-inflammatory foods in are like avocados, kimchi, love kimchi, garlic, onion, broccoli, cauliflower, lemon water. I need to be better, but I was at one point drinking a lemon water every morning to start the day even before my coffee. And that just really helps to kind of get your body moving throughout the day and start your metabolism. Tomatoes, <laughs> yeah, I'll incorporate a lot of tomatoes in the things I cook, although I do caution this. I also do suffer with a little bit of heartburn, so I need to be careful how much of that acidity I do consume because tomatoes could be a little acidic, but love tomatoes, berries, chia seeds, and also a lot of salmon. Like salmon and avocado are really good for those good fats and really just help with that anti-inflammatory and are great whole foods to incorporate into your diet. Also try not to have too much of a restrictive diet. Like if I see some cheesecake from the store or some pie, I'm gonna eat it. This is more about me being more mindful of what I'm consuming and just try to have everything in moderation. And as a result, I really did see my skin start to clear up. Like the biggest thing while cleaning up my diet was also just reducing stress. And I know that is much easier said than done. Don't stress and that'll like solve all your problems and it'll clear your skin. I know it doesn't work that way. <laughs> and, but the things that really helped me to also reduce stress, journaling has really helped me out a lot having a morning routine like I really notice when I don't journal and meditate I don't do those two things when I'm stressed like for example these past couple of weeks just with the wedding and things going on at work like I have been breaking out we got another third eye as you can see a couple other breakouts here and I just haven't had the time I haven't made the time to meditate or journal I feel just so much heavier when I don't have time to do those things or when I don't make time to do those things so journaling and meditation has really helped me helped to ease stress really be present and just put life into perspective real cheesy but if you are kind of like hating life and where you're at and you're just like harboring that internally, it's gonna reflect again to your external world and you're just gonna not feel as great. And not even just to skincare, but just like the energy you exude is not gonna be as light and airy and you're just not gonna feel good. And everyone wants to feel good. And when you feel better, I feel like that is really reflected. You interact with others, your personality, and even can be in your skin because you are not harboring all that stress and anger or sadness, whatever negative emotion that's there. But again, easier said than done, but those are two things that have really helped me. For example, for the wedding, I'm really trying 
to be more present and not stress out about the little things and really just enjoy and be grateful and just kind of just letting it go and that's just also just like a personal journey I'm going through just learning to let things go and like everything is not always that serious. Being in control of my wellness in general and my health and prioritizing it and prioritizing myself I really started noticing a difference in my skin and it clearing up. In addition to skincare I still love a good skincare routine and I feel like they all go hand in hand. It's like that Venn diagram with the three circles. They all come together and I feel like they're all needed to have clear skin and just do it. And then one can kind of trigger the other. Like sometimes I'll break out because of stress. Other times it's because I tried a new moisturizer and it did not agree with me. Maybe those won't work for you. So it might take a couple of trial and errors until you find the right supplements, right diet, right foods, right meals that work for you, right routine, even like maybe you're like journaling does not work for me not about it but you like to go on a walk also physical activity i need to be better at but that really helps with my stress levels as well so if you're looking to heal your skin through your gut and incorporating probiotics eating more whole foods and just being more aware of your diet, what you're putting into your body, really amping up the anti-inflammatory foods in your diet, incorporating those more, and also giving yourself grace. Do that in addition with your skincare routine with products that work for you. It is a journey, it's gonna take a while. I didn't really see these results probably for at least six months until everything kind of, you know, it takes time for things to incorporate into your body and kind of build off of each other. Cause even when you're just developing, these are new habits you're forming. And once you kind of have it stack and also do things consistently, that's when you're gonna see results to like this video and be on the lookout for part two of skincare that has helped me really clear my skin. I wanted to do this video in parts because I feel like healing your gut and really cleaning up your diet is kind of the first step in your journey to clear skin. Mindful, again, of what you're putting in your body and what you're eating can lead to big lasting results on your journey to clear skin. If you are interested in some more skincare content in terms of more topical remedies, you can go ahead and click over here. If you are interested in things like the wedding series or makeup recommendations, you can go ahead and click over here and I will see you in the next video.